Tonight, the Orioles will face R.A. Dickey, one of the better knuckleball pitchers in baseball for the last five or six years. Um, you have to understand really first what the knuckleball does before you can actually take an approach to it as a hitter. Now, really, as it comes out, it, all right, Dickie's going to probably grab a seam. That's so that you can get good grip on the ball. Some pitchers like to go inside the seam to have, you know, the big fingernails, but some of them, most of them like to throw it in that position right there with fingers stuck in the stitches of the baseball. Now, what happens when you go to throw it is that you don't use the same motion as you throw a regular baseball to first base or from the outfield to the cutoff man. Actually, as you let it go, you kind of push it out of your fingers. Now, as it travels to home plate, it has no rotation. And what it'll do, it'll pick up the little wind resistance on one side of the ball or the tread, and it'll start to take it one way, left or right. No two knuckleballs are ever the same because it just depends on what kind of resistance that ball is getting. If it's windy out, it's obviously going to have a lot more movement because the wind is going to pick up a tread and actually force the baseball to go in that in that direction. So. What you really want to do as a hitter, because the ball really doesn't start to move too much and still it loses velocity, and it loses velocity right in front of home plate. Now, all of us are going to be different, and I used to like to do this. I had some good days against the knuckleballers, believe it or not, but my approach as a regular hitter, I used to sit back in the batter's box and give myself more time to see the ball. But with a knuckleballer, I moved up so that my front foot was in front of home plate. Not enough to stride out of the box and get called out, but enough to wait on the ball here and try to catch it before the ball broke as much as it usually does. And I was lucky early in my career to be pretty successful against guys like Wilbur Wood. So you want to hit the ball out in front. That's the way you really want to catch at any kind of pitch that they throw up there. But much easier to do it if you move your batting stance up in the batter's box and try to catch the ball before it starts to break.